hey guys welcome back to vaga in today's video what we're going to do is that we're going to try and create a new recipe uh this recipe is called uh, soya and chicken uh you know and this is a healthy option for your dogs so i'm going to make it for the first time and i hope uh bruno by the way that's mr bruno my two-year-old doberman i hope he'll like it uh, let's see if he'll probably accept this food or not okay so without further ado we will start the video before we start, don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe. To start with, we would want around 200 grams of soya and 100 grams of chicken. Soya is extremely healthy and it has proteins, calcium, vitamins, fiber, potassium and whatnot. It's also readily available in the market and if you're buying in wholesale, you'll get a very good deal. I got around 70 bucks per kg so what we're going to do here is we're going to take a ball uh, and we're going to add water into it and we're going to soak it we're going to leave it like that for approximately 10 minutes the soya is going to absorb the water and uh, once it is uh, absorbed we will move to the next step as you can see the soya has almost absorbed the entire water uh, we'll leave it for some few more minutes and then we will start the next step. The next step is we're going to squeeze the water out of soya. This is important why because soya might have a sticky gluey like substance inside uh, and squeezing is extremely important to take it out. Now once you squeeze and uh, take the, uh, the soya out, uh, we're going to cook it in a pressure cooker approximately for 10 minutes. And for this, you need to add the chicken in it please do not add salt or any other flavor because we are going to get a lot of flavor from the chicken itself so guys our recipe is almost ready uh, looks very yummy right lucky you mr bruno you better eat it now uh, you can see the fat particles deposited uh, if you want, uh, you can drain the water out. I am going to keep this because a little bit of water is uh, again advised for dogs. It can avoid conditions like bloat. Now let's see the next step. So guys, in the next step, we're going to add a multivitamin and uh, calcium tab tablets. So what I've done is I've, I've kind of combined both multivitamin and calcium tablets. I'm using Veriback and Marisol Pet uh, tablets. Uh, I've combined them in a mixer and, and I've put them in one particular jar and I'm going to use them. So I'm going to add one teaspoon of uh, this mixture into our recipe and I'm going to you know stir it a bit and I'm going to let it settle down. So guys, the final moment is there. Will this recipe be approved or not? Fingers crossed. Here you go, Mr. Bruno. Okay, you can come. Okay, there goes the chicken. Quite expected. Again, the chicken, ah, oh, it's quite disappointing because he did not go for soya. Come on, you can do it. Yes. Oh, yes. He likes it. So the experiment worked. He is hogging right now. Ah, table manners, Bruno. People are watching. I think he really likes it. So, it's it's a wonderful sight to see your dog eat, right? I mean, uh, maybe dog owners will, will relate to me because it's a wonderful, happy sight because that means the dog is healthy. He doesn't have any, any health issues because, you know, the dog will stop eating every time it has a health issue. So, it's a wonderful feeling and it's a happy feeling for dog owners. And uh, this is truly a happy day for me also because I tried something new and he liked it. Nothing better than this, a clean plate. 
so thank you so much guys for watching my video i hope you all liked it please do try making this at your place uh, well bruno is back doing what he likes to do the most which is bark at strangers and run around i'll see you all next time with a wonderful video till then take care and bye